Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a match that might be happening at Battleground. A uh, 2 on 2 match. Big E and Kofi Kingston versus Bray Wyatt and Strowman. But um, you know because Xavier Woods never wrestles, then they've got to have a manager because Luke, so Eric Rowan, so and Luke Harper's injured, he won't be there. And he's supposed to be leaving them. And Xavier Woods never wrestles, he wasn't going to join them on Raw. And this might be happening at Battleground, but if it's not, because it might be announced on Raw tonight that it might not be happening, I might not upload this. And we're doing it for the Tag Team Championship. So yes, and we're being joined by Kobe, say hi Kobe. Hi. I'm Big E and Kobe is Kofi Kingston. And Kobe is Kobe Kingston. That's what you say. Right, so this will be loading. Um, Brock Lesnar plays Randy Orton at SummerSlam. Um, we don't know when um, Randy Orton will be back. Actually, he might be back this week, might he? He might attack someone somehow. He might attack Dean Ambrose or something because he wants, his, he wants the title. No, actually, that's Seth Rollins that wants the title. Everyone wants it, but it's not more, mainly Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns because they're on the shield. Yeah, and they're, they're, get, they're, just playing, it around they're actually other. playing at Battleground for this match, for that. I don't know about United States Championship, Intercontinental Championship. Miz will soon lose it. I thought Kane would beat him, but he walked out because Maurice, whatever his wife's name is, pretended that she had broke her ankle. And then Rusev, who was it on? I think it was Tights on Raw. I think it was. On the 4th of July. Right, here we go. I don't know what's going on with my hands here. Independence Day is it? Sorry if you're. Sorry, I've changed my camera a bit again. I can't see all of the screen right here. My sister always sings Three Kings of Life.
Big Show. And introducing the challengers, Bray Wyatt and Ron Spreeman. The Bullies. Call them the Bullies. And their opponents, they are the WWE Tag Team Champions. This might happen. Caveman. Seconds away and from the they, start of this title match. Probably do it for the Texan Championship as well. Do you think they'll probably do it for the Texan Championship as well? Coffee. This one's going to be tag team warfare. The team that gets the first pinfall or submission will be declared the winner tonight. Championship on the line. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get oh, this thing yes, going. Man. Who's going to be the champion? What do you think about Bray Wyatt? As you know, we're talking about someone with a lot of talent. I'm not so sure I like the idea of it being showcased in a tag team. You got to let talent like that shine on its own. Reverses it. Somebody wants in this match right now. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. How tall is he? He's probably seen. His chest may be black and blue after probably, this. I think he's just about six foot eleven. Delivering the damage just, to the chest now. Really just as tall as the castle. for the tag. Oh, he missed. Oh, hey, nobody home that time. Oh, look how badly he wants the tag. He makes the tag. Wow, that was a wild strike. Oh, I'm missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Oh, man. That elbow will knock you silly. And it's Gray Wyatt executing the reversal. Suplex. That was nice. 
And now he's back out on the apron. He walks back in this match in the worst way. And there's the neck breaker. Good luck turning your head after that one. Yeah, you'll have a stiff neck for weeks. But that's why it's called high risk, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as yes. a precaution. Damage ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. You know, the moves that Bray Wyatt has at his disposal are vicious. One is more severe than the next. Let's face it, his throw suplex, clotheslines, cross body, the avalanche, and running senton can put anyone away. Oh, yeah, and seeing that guard for the cover. And the rest starts to count. Get out! Wearing down the opposition here. Maybe then she and there's the tag. The referee getting involved now. Better be careful here. We've seen back injuries derail careers permanently. What an attack! Are you Not a in this world? problem with it. In the WWE, you do what you have to do to get ahead. Like in any business, only the strong survive. Oh, I just floored Eric Rowan. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, he he it gives everybody well, a chance to catch their breath. Hey, the shoulders are down. Rope break. That pain could be dull, achy, sharp, or stabbing. This might be a case of all the above. I agree. Dull, achy, sharp, and stabbing. He's absolutely relentless here. Remember, in championship matches, the title cannot change hands by count-out or disqualification. Yeah, that's why they call it the championship advantage. You can lose the match, but keep the title. His face might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. Look at him out there, reaching for the tag. He can't wait to get back in the mix. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damage ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. If a superstar does not think they need a plan to take the fight to Bray Wyatt, my advice is to get your head examined. Wyatt even suggests to his opponents, run. The biggest strategy is to stay mentally strong. Do not allow this man, Bray Wyatt, to enter your mind and your thoughts because in the end, that might be the one thing you have left. Michael, the way you've been talking about Bray Wyatt, you're starting to scare me. For an opponent of Bray Wyatt, keeping a clear mind is definitely important. What's also important is not allowing him to unleash an attack with move after devastating move. We know what this is. Oh, hey, nice reversal. Oh, out of nowhere. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. This is what makes him so dangerous. The strategy for an opponent of Bray Wyatt King has to be to try to keep him off balance. To try and keep the master of mind games, Bray Wyatt's guessing. Then you may have a chance of leaving and still retain the use of all your limbs. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy. This guy's just getting worn out. So good to be back in Tampa tonight. There are so many rabid WWE fans here in the Sunshine State. And what a hard knockdown, big time impact. Oh man, how do you stand after an attack like this? 
I have to tell you, Cole, I would need to think long and hard for a plan if I was heading into the ring to face Bray Wyatt. If a WWE superstar wants to win, oh man, there's the sister Abigail, and it's all over but the weeping. No kidding. Let's start crying now. And will this be it? It may be. Strowman's weeds come tall. Sticky to avoid that. Ray Wyatt being pressed hard. Just so sneaky. Yeah. Why it is so dangerous on so many different levels. Looks yeah. like somebody wants back in this match. Yes, he's gone. He's moved. Why is he walking out like this? Did you see me in there? I like mean, yeah, on the ropes. Not today. Too fast. Oh, my God. Right to the face. Where's he going? Is he walking out? Is it? Sticky to avoid that. He's in full yeah. on attack mode now. So it'll be everyone, it'll be the new day. So anyway, if he started fighting, save your wits. Save your These competitors try to keep their wits about them. We're calling it so important. Hey, this may very well be it. survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous yeah. objects. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the yeah. floor for long. I don't agree with you, Tank. This is going to be big one way or another. No kidding. Wait, let me get you. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences. And, and missing. How do you get in the ring? That. Now, this. He's looking at it again. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. That was like now, that is it. force. What strength! Oh, what a slam! He's got a down pole. Is this it? It could be. Right, so guys, we're gonna do a part two here. See you all in a second.